So I'm switching out a 40 inch TV with this 55 inch Roku TCL, a 4K TV. There's four uh, screw areas there that we can put those pieces on. As you can see, there's four screws and we just have to remove it off of here and then we just have to screw it onto here. But I'm gonna have to find two screws because I, I don't know what I did with those. And before I put the Roku up there, I'm gonna have to remove the feet. It's just four screws and a Phillips head screwdriver. All right, step one is I've got to unscrew our two pieces off of the 40 inch TV and uh, bring them over and put them on our Roku. And as I said, we've got to remove these feet off of the Roku, so I'm just going to unscrew them. I'm going to save all of the pieces, of course. I've got to do both sides. Next, we're going to screw in our attachments for that wall mount. So the first thing I've got to do is back these two screws out because we're going to need them to attach these two pieces. So I'm going to unscrew them. As you can see, I'm missing two bottom screws, so I've got to find a couple in the garage. And then we're going to go ahead and line up the very bottom of this because I want it to sit high enough so that you can see it. All right, I found two screws with the same threads, but I had to use an Allen wrench to get them in. So we went ahead and I put them on the very bottom because I want this thing to hang high. So I'm going to go ahead and just screw them in with the Allen wrench as tight as I can. I had to use my fingers there and just get it locked down. All right, now we got our bottom screws in. I got to get the top ones in, but unfortunately, these little knobs are in the way for me screwing it in. So we're going to have to remove them. So to get those top screws in, I've got to unscrew those little knobs and they just come off. Just lefty loosey, pull them off, slide the bolt a little ways out of the way, line up your hole, and then go ahead and stick your screw in. All right, so now we just got to get our screw in place and use our drill to lock it down. And then we reattach our knob just by spinning it really quickly. And once we get it on there, uh, we can do the other side. Here's a different viewpoint from up top. You just got to unspin that, first of all and then we can get our screw in. All right, so once we've got our screw in there, we can go ahead and reattach that knob. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean this mess up. Let's just clean up this knob. All right, so that's ready to go. I'm gonna lift the whole thing up. When I get it up there, I'm gonna set the top on, and I'm gonna pull this down, and then those little things are gonna connect right into the bottom here. Anyway, I just got a towel, I laid it on here, because you don't want the face of the TV to be laying on that glass, right? So the power cord goes in here. It should just push in, if I've got it right. There we go. All right, so that's good. All right, now I'm gonna turn it, and I want the bottom of the TV facing the wall. I'm gonna lift it up and gingerly place it on the towel. All right. You gotta be kidding me. Am I on? Yes, we are on. Holy cannolis, Batman. <laughs> I got it. So I've got to pull on the strap to get that bottom part attached to the lip. I think I'm on. All right, we got it. Nice. All right, you see it there? And on the bottom? Yeah, we're in. Here we are. Let's turn it on. Cha-ding! Look at that. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos.